Hi friends, Happy New Year and welcome to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Chloe and I go by C Shoddy Hill here on YouTube and Instagram. And I hope if you like this video, you will connect with me and subscribe to my channel. This is Copper, that's Oliver. And today I'm going to attempt to make homemade dog food. Before I go to the store and get all the ingredients and <laughs> try to cook, I did just wanna go over a couple things. And the first thing is, this is something that I've been thinking about for a really long time, but every time I, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to do this, and I start doing research on it, I read so much conflicting information that it's so overwhelming. And then you have cases of these weird heart diseases and stuff happening because people aren't feeding their pets a balanced diet. It's still easy to feed them something that's not nutritionally complete that you wouldn't even realize. So then you have to like look into these supplements, but it's like, which supplements do I need? Which supplements do I don't need? Am I giving my dog too much calcium? Not enough calcium? Too much iron? Not enough? I don't know. So <laughs> it's overwhelming and it's confusing and it's a little scary, honestly. But I actually had a really amazing conversation with this vet and she actually works mm. in a, for a company that's basically like hospice care for pets. And she goes in the homes and, you know, does euthanasia services, which I would really love to do an interview with her for my channel. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, you might know that I used to work in hospice, so it's like the perfect marriage of dying and pets. <laughs> I don't know. Hospice gave me a morbid sense of humor. I don't think I'm ever gonna lose it. Anyway. <laughs> So she helped me get over years of guilt that I had mm -hmm. for having to put down my childhood dog. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, this is not what you click mm -hmm. on this video to hear. But we also talked about homemade dog food and she basically gave me the confidence that I needed. She's like, it's really not that hard. You just have to have, you know, these specific things and you can do it. It's better for the dog, you should do it. So <sighs> I'm doing it. So basically what I found is you should have about 40% meat and around 10% of that should be organ meat. You should have 30% grains if you do feed your dog grains and 30% vegetables, not starchy vegetables. But be careful with recipes you find online because they might not be nutritionally complete and you might be really screwing over your dog without even realizing it, thinking you're doing something good, which is something I really don't want to do. So I found this website called Balance It, which I will link in the description of this video. And this website is amazing because it was actually made by a board certified veterinary nutritionist and you just have to select different ingredients in several different categories and then it will actually make a customized recipe for you that is nutritionally complete and if you do need any supplements it will give you the exact supplements and how much you should add and yeah it seems pretty legit why did i say that uh yeah so <laughs> The only thing that I'm still a little confused about is how much to feed them. I read that you should be feeding your dogs two to three percent of their body weight daily, but that would probably need to be adjusted based off your dog's activity level and you know if they're gaining or losing weight. You want to keep them at a healthy weight. But I'm not super worried about that because I'm going to ease them into this diet. I'm not going to just completely switch them over 100% all at once. I'm going to start just adding it on top of their dry food and then. You know, just like you would switch any food, that's you should do it gradually over time. So, just keep in mind if you do decide to try this, that you make sure none of the ingredients you're using are toxic to dogs. And I would really recommend using the website Balance It because it gives me confidence. You will need a food scale though because it has very exact measurements. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go to the store now, we're gonna get all the ingredients, and we're gonna try and cook this. I hope you enjoy my dog cooking video. Sit. Good boy. <laughs> Oliver, sit. 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 Uh, Oliver, stop. <laughs> I'll be right back. I hate this. I do not feel good about this. this <sighs> all right so i finished shopping i have all the stuff in the back and i did just want to say um i might sound crazy to most of you because i know most of you probably aren't vegan but i am vegan 
I haven't been vegan for that long in the grand scheme of things, but I've been vegan for over a year and a half. And it was really weird buying eggs and turkey today. And it, it really bothers me. <laughs> and it's gonna bother me even more to cook them. But, you know, I've said this before on my channel, and I'll just say it again. I really don't believe in forcing your pets to be vegan. <laughs> I know some people do that with dogs. Cats definitely cannot be vegan. I mean, from an evolutionary standpoint, you know, I can make the, the choice for myself to not consume animal products, but I would never make that decision for someone who can't make that decision. Do you know what I'm saying? So my dogs need me, they need eggs. I'm gonna give it to them, even though it hurts me. I love them that much. Okay, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna make this. All right, so here I am in my kitchen. I have all the ingredients right in front of me. I'm going to start weighing them out. I'm already really confused. 118 grams. So there's 453 grams in a pound. I don't know. Because it's calling for like a lot more eggs than turkey, which I, I don't understand, but I'm, doing my best to make sense of this. So I'm just gonna try and follow this recipe and go from there. So, first things first. So I guess I'm gonna start by weighing out all of my ingredients. What do you want, Matilda? She wants her wet food. Can you, do you guys believe how much this cat has grown? Like she's such a big girl now, sorry. She's such a big girl. She used to be like, baby. <laughs> so I got my scale and I got all the ingredients and I'm just gonna start doing this. Okay. Uh, okay. I guess Copper's just gonna cry this entire time. He must know that I'm cooking for him. So the turkey is a pound, so that is about the right amount. And then I need to figure out how much rice. And I'm also pretty confused because it wants me to use brown rice, white rice, and quinoa, and enriched spaghetti. Which it's a little strange to me, but I'm just gonna go for it. So I think that the weight of the rice is referring to cooked rice. So I'm gonna cook the rice first. And I just got these easy boiling bags because I'm not good at cooking rice. I'm not even gonna try. So, I'm just gonna do it this way. So I'm gonna get this rice going. And the cool thing about this is anything that I don't use, I can eat. <laughs> just guesstimating here. Get your face out of the freaking rock. Eggs, go away. I guess I'll just um, boil this with the Rice. Come back to that. Stop it. It's way too much. Matilda! <laughs> So while I'm getting all of the pasta and the rice and the quinoa <laughs> cooked, I'm gonna start chopping the vegetables. Yeah. Only this many carrots? This is weird, I'm telling you, this is weird. It, it doesn't feel right to me. All right, I just double checked in. I guess that's, I guess that's it, so. And keep going. And we got my celery. Yes, this is overwhelming. I'm just gonna use the olive oil to cook the spinach, I guess. 
Mm. So I'm put this in here. That's all the olive oil we need. And I guess I can go ahead and weigh out the banana and the corn, the peanut butter. And I guess everything should be bite-sized. And Oliver's got a little mouth, so... Yeah. I guess the goal is like, you know, figuring out how to do this and then making it like once a week. Mm. And like kind of meal prep for them. You know, these videos just... <laughs> all my videos, they just, you know, I just have this... In my head, I have this like, you know, idea of how it's gonna be. And then when I go and try and execute it, I just look like a total idiot. <laughs> Especially the kitchen videos. Why is it so hard to stir? Give it a lick. Give it a lick. You guys, you're gonna love this. I'm so excited. Done. I just need to weigh it. I'm gonna finish what I'm doing over here. This is the mess I'm making. It's not great. We're gonna say this is more of a vlog than an instructional how-to. Definitely not showing you how to do anything. Oh my gosh! Oh my, gosh. Oh my god! This is going. This is too hot. What is going on? Guys, behave. We should cut it a little more. I don't understand why I needed all these different things. Hi. This is way harder than it was supposed to be. I think my ring light's broken. I'm gonna burn myself. And I still have everything really scattered, but I think I can now start scrambling the eggs and cooking the turkey, which is my favorite part. I really don't want anything to do with this turkey. I'm having a really bad time, hard time. Oh no. Ow, I burned myself. There's something in here that shouldn't be in here. I got like another little a freaking, a freaking piece of paper. Now that the turkey is almost done, I'm just gonna add the eggs and scramble them in the, in the same pot. What is this, an embryo? What is this, an eyeball? Ew. This is disgusting. And finally, I just have to mix everything all together. So this is what the end result looks like. I mean, if I wasn't vegan, I'd probably eat some myself. So I'm gonna let it cool down and then I'm gonna let these little douches try their new food. And like I said, I'm gonna mix it with their kibble for, I don't know, the first few weeks and ease them into it. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna freeze some of this. And yeah, we're gonna see how that goes. And I'm gonna try and clean up this huge mess I made. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so now it's the moment of truth. I'm gonna see how they like their new food. Are you guys excited to try your new food? Okay. Copper, leave it. Leave it. Good boy.
What do you think? Oh, you love it. You like it? Do you like it, Cobb? <laughs> I think they love it. Some my beautiful. So I'm just gonna bag the rest of this in portions and freeze it and keep mixing with their food. Yay.